Yes, but I can't say who because that would cause me big problems. But I could say why, and that would be because uh, there's certain men that like to bang your guts out and try to hurt you. And I know about them and know who they are, so that's why I wouldn't want to do it. So, yeah. And then as far as women, there's some that I would never work with again, for sure. Because of how I got treated by them. Um, in, like, friendship situations. How do guys stay rock solid during a scene? Hmm. And do they always stay rock hard during a scene? No, they don't. Um, a lot of them, I did a scene where it was boy, girl, girl scene. And the guy couldn't stay hard. He didn't like the girl, he kept telling me. And she was a bee. And um, I kept having to fluff him and so he could stay rock hard. And um, he kept running to the bathroom, trying to get through the whole thing. It was hard. And I thought, there's no way they're going to make a scene out of this. There's no effing way they're going to be able to do it. They did it. It's a really good scene. And then I did a scene where some guy uh, was super nervous, just couldn't, couldn't do it, couldn't keep it up for some reason. And... You just kind of have to leave them alone, let them do their thing. But if that happens and you're stopping the camera constantly for someone, all they do is just cut to a different scene, like maybe a facial expression or something like that so that they can start back again and get the camera going again. That's the power of editing for you. So the worst scene I've ever done was for a website that's really big. And the guy was, I guess, trying to prove a point. And no, it's nothing I could research beforehand to see what kind of scenes he did because they said they've never seen him do this and they've never seen him act this way, that maybe he was trying to prove a point because he liked me. I don't know. Um, like prove that he could really, you know, get it on and he was the man. Um, it started out with him with his hands around my neck, which was horrible. Um, then he had hold of my hands so that I could not take my, his hands off. And then after that, I jumped on top of him because I was like, I'm definitely not going to tap out. I'm not going to do this. I know you think you're going to try to make me cry. That's what I was thinking he was doing. And then, um, I started slapping him and then pulling his hair. And then the director was like, yeah, we can't make a scene like this. This website does not do this kind of thing. And I'm like, well, this dude is just going too far. And he's like, I'm really sorry. You should have said something. You should have stopped the scene. Because the guy was like, oh, are you tapping out? That's why you jumped up. I'm like, no. And um, so I was really surprised that they were able to make a scene out of it because I really didn't think they were going to be able to make a scene because it was just so dramatic. <laughs> But I looked at the cut up part and they really did make a scene out of it, which was unreal. They cut it, that whole part out because it went on for like a good five minutes, which was way too long. But I would have to say that is the worst scene that I have ever done. It's going to feel good. But it's like Mikey said, eventually you're going to be like, wow, you know, this feels great. I wonder what the perfect feels like, you know? <laughs> I'm going to be curious. How did my parents find out that I did porn? Well, I actually called my mom and asked her if it would be something that she would mind that I did. She said, well, Marcy, you're an adult, and if that's what you want to do, I don't mind it, that's fine. Then I called my dad. They're still married, but he wasn't around with her. And I asked him, would that be something, you know, you'd be mortified from? And he said, no. If they were, I wasn't going to do it. But I, you know, came out the gate just wanting to be honest and not have people find out behind the scenes because that hurts their feelings. When they find out, they're not ready for it. They're not, you know, because when I first got married, they didn't know and I hurt them. And um, I kind of ran off and got married. And a friend of mine said to my dad, hey, congratulations. And my dad said, for what? He said, Marcy, I heard Marcy got married. 
So they were both mortified. That's why I just didn't want to do something like that to them again. I wanted to be as honest as I could. So yep, that's why I did it, because they didn't care. Well, I'm trying to show you all. You said, how come you never show your butt? It's so hard to. It's hard to, because I'm mostly talking all the time. Gab, gab, gab. So anyway, there you go. I forget where the question was, but that's the best I can do, because I don't have anyone here to film me right now. I'm just excited because I have a scene, two scenes to film on the 28th ah, in Miami for adult movies. So I can't wait. You guys will see it on my Twitter. So follow me at Marcy Diamond 2 because it's my second Twitter. They banned the first one all over an avatar picture. But anyway, go to it. Oh, forgot to mention they're for two different companies. So I'm going to be knocking out two birds with one stone. Well, I don't have any makeup on, excuse me. I just only have eyelashes. Um, I just wanted to answer this question. Yes, I've had one guy that came on set and said to the lady I was working for, well, the so night before some girl supposedly bit his donger and he couldn't work, he said, and his thing hurt him. And I think more like what it was, was I'm fat. So he just, he's not used to working with girls my size. He works in California, that's where I was. And this was for a, a fucking website that's been around for 27 years. It's very popular. And he said it hurt him too much and he couldn't work. And I think what happened was when he saw me, she said, I don't know what's wrong with him. He approved your pictures beforehand. He said he would want to work with you. And then he didn't want to, so. I don't know. Probably just the sight of me just made him where he didn't want to work with me. Oh well, to each their own. He don't have to want to work with me. If, if you're used to working with all skinny girls, I can't blame you. Cause working with a girl that's BBW is probably pretty hard. Told you you guys would get some video. It is so fucking hot. It's not even funny. But I'm filming. That does happen. Um, that happened to me on set once in California, and the lady got really mad and said, how am I supposed to make a video out of this? It's only seven minutes, and they paid me for 20 minutes to come up with something for 20 minutes. She was so mad. So we were like, uh. So I said, why don't you just film it backwards? You have the pop scene already, so just go backwards. Ask him, can he get it up again? And then, which he said yes, he spoke French anyway, so I said just have him get, you know what, again, <clears throat> and then we'll just go from there, and then you can just put the pop scene behind it. So that's what you do. That's the secret. But, yeah, it's, it's not all that often because, a lot, you know, I work with professionals that are used to it, and they can do it on command. So, um, but it does happen with newer guys. That would be Asante Stone in Juan Largo. You would have to look them up for my scenes, but they are amazing. Like my bathing suit. This is my bathing suit for today. It's not really a bathing suit, the underwear. <laughs> What's the biggest yucca I've had on set? The biggest yucca I've had on set. That would be a 13-incher. Don't want to say his name. Um, tried to annihilate everything inside. It would. It wasn't fun, but I didn't stop the scene. A lot of girls will stop the scene and flip out, and I didn't because I don't like stopping scenes. I like to just go all the way through because I'm an actress. Nobody says you have to. No one says you gotta put up with that, but I just don't like stopping a scene. But no, no one makes you do that. I just choose to not stop. Oh, is it recording? But people ask, um, would you work with me? I would, but 
I like to get paid if you don't have a huge fan base that you can bring me because if you look at me on a certain popular website that rhymes with um well I won't say it because I don't want to get shut down but I have like 151 million views on there I that's just one site too but yeah if you can bring me a fan base uh, and you have yourself, you know, established and you're trying to get established and you've got something you can bring me, I'll do it. But if not, then I do expect to get paid. Just makes sense, you know, business sense. How's your day going? I was trying to film today, but I didn't get very far. I'm still trying to film, but you know what? Bacardi and diet often gets in the way.